Godzilla is the king of monsters. Having lasted over 70 years, Godzilla has smashed, crushed, and roared his way into pop culture legend. Everyone knows the destruction Godzilla can cause. The destroyed buildings, screaming citizens, entire cities on fire. In movies, the result is entertaining. In real life, however, it would probably be less so. For those of you just joining us, Lower Manhattan is in an absolute state of siege. And what has been... Which brings us to an interesting scenario. What if Godzilla was real? There appears to be something coming off of it. Yeah. The ground seems What's to be covered. It? It, it looks like there's something there. falling off of it, doesn't it? What if tomorrow Godzilla rose from the sea and began destroying cities? How would the world react? How would people react? What would be the economic and social effects if this legendary monster wiped out a major metropolitan area? What is it? Oh. What? Oh, shit. That's not the best place, is it? Oh is that God. best apartment? Rob, is that her place? Tell me that's not her place. That's your place, yeah. This one stands at around 150 meters, or roughly 500 feet, and is one of the largest incarnations. So this is the one we'll be using for this scenario. For this scenario, we'll have Godzilla attack a major American city on the west coast, like Los Angeles or Seattle. Oh! 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 So Godzilla rises out of the ocean and moves toward the city. For the American public, the initial reaction would be one of disbelief. the civilian and local authorities, they have no idea how to react to such a situation. A mass panic would ensue and thousands would begin to flee from the shore. Even the stampede could cause casualties before Godzilla even made it into the city. American military would attempt to subdue the incoming Godzilla. This means they would deploy fighter jets, bombers, ground troops, and tanks in a battle against the monster. It would literally be war to retake the city and stop Godzilla from continuing forward. What? I can't hear you. Oh, kids, please be quiet.
His scales are his pride, shut up together as with a close seal. What is so near to another that no air can come between them? They are joined one to another. They stick together that they cannot be sundered. By his sneezings, a light doth shine, and his eyes are like the eyelids of the morning. Out of his mouth go burning lamps, and sparks of fire leap out. Out of his nostrils goeth smoke, as out of a seething pot or cauldron. His breath kindleth coals, and a flame goeth out of his mouth. In his neck remaineth strength, and sorrow is turned into joy before him. The flakes of his flesh are joined together. They are firm in themselves. They cannot be moved. His heart is as firm as a stone, yea, as hard as a piece of the nether millstone. When he raiseth up himself, the mighty are afraid. By reason of breakings they purify themselves. The sword of him that layeth at him cannot hold, the spear, the dart, nor the habergeon. He esteemeth iron as straw, and brass as rotten wood. The arrow cannot make him flee. Sling stones are turned with him into stubble. Darts are counted as stubble. He laugheth at the shaking of a spear. Sharp stones are under him. He spreadeth sharp pointed things upon the mire. He maketh the deep to boil like a pot. He maketh the sea like a pot of ointment. He maketh a path to shine after him. However, the United States would realize the weapons are not working, so they would use heavier artillery, so to say. Wherever Godzilla would be, it would not just be the monster civilians would have to worry about, but the military campaign against it too. Killing Godzilla would be the first priority for the US, and in a realistic scenario, if civilians could not retreat in time, they could be counted as acceptable loss. In the most conventional terms, Godzilla is nearly impossible to kill. Not even a nuclear bomb can kill him. In 1954, the first time a nuclear submarine ever reached the lower depths. Did Americans something? The Americans first thought that it was the Russians. The Russians thought that it was them. All those nuclear bomb tests in the 50s. They were trying to kill it. Him. An ancient alpha predator. Millions of years older than mankind. From an age when the Earth was ten times more radioactive than it is today. This animal, and others like it, consumed this radiation as a food source. But as the levels on the surface naturally subsided, these creatures adapted to live deeper in the oceans, further underground. Thus, human weapons, for the most part, would be utterly useless. With this, it is up to the assumption Godzilla simply rampages through the city. Even if Godzilla is not trying to destroy anything, his sheer size could destroy entire blocks, buildings, and wipe out millions of lives. What is that? 
it's, it's, it's a terrible okay, thing. Okay, hold Let's on, we go. gotta go. We gotta After the initial attack, the city's coastlines downtown and other regions are in ruins. The population either fleeing, hiding, or left to deal with the apocalyptic destruction never seen before. If, say, Los Angeles is hit, its population is roughly 4 million. If even 10% of the population was affected by Godzilla's destruction, that is still 400,000 lives potentially lost. Oh my god! Are you guys seeing this right now? Are you seeing this right now? Look, 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 look! Are you guys seeing this shit right now? Oh my god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Those aren't gonna hit us, are they? Oh my god, they hit it! They just hit it right now! You guys, they just hit it! They hit it with. Oh my god! This brings us to the aftermath of a Godzilla attack. The reality that at any time a massive reptile can come out of the ocean and kill you and everyone you love would be a hard one to accept. World reaction to a Godzilla attack anywhere would be one of fear and panic. Any <laughs> Any city on the coast can now be vulnerable to destruction. Tokyo, Hong Kong, New York, cities with millions of people are suddenly in the gravest danger.